Welcome back at 621. 629. I'm going back in time right Don't now. Don't do that. About 2,000 people are getting ready to take part in an emergency exercise in Pueblo this morning. It's all part of an annual drill at the chemical depot to test their response to emergency situations. In fact, News 5 Shayla Gerardin is watching out for you with what you need to know. And Shayla, a lot of people can expect to see the emergency activity around town today. Absolutely, Bree and Ira. In fact, 30 different agencies are participating in this exercise today. And actually, the very first participants are already out here. These are students that have graciously donated their time. As you can see, they're starting the process and actually getting some moulage done. And they'll be participating in that exercise a little bit later today. There's actually two of them, one at the chemical depot, one a little bit later in the county. Josh, walk me through right now what we're seeing. So right now we have the moulage that's going on. So we have about 179 students from the Health Academy that are here today to help us out. So right now they're getting moulage and they're also getting the roll card. So they're going to be acting and they're going to be helping us, helping us out a lot today uh, with our exercise. And this is all so important to the process. You know, talk us through what today is going to look like. So today's going to look like, uh, so we have multiple um, incidents going on. So we're going to have a lot of our uh, local uh, agencies. We're going to have some state agencies helping us out today. So uh, you're going to probably see a lot of emergency me uh, medical vehicles kind of going around, um, a lot of action going on in our um, EOC and JIC. And we're seeing some of that action already this morning. This is something you've participated in, in the past. Why is it so important to do this again each year to, to keep practicing these drills? You know, it's so important. It's always important to practice. And anytime we get the opportunity to work with partnering agencies for something that um, may actually happen in our county, uh, we take advantage of that. So each year we try and uh, practice, uh, uh, get a lot of uh, work together. And then, you know, afterwards we do a good little hot wash. And it's, it's a good opportunity for us to kind of learn. So if something does happen, we feel very prepared. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. That exercise is going to start at 8.30 this morning and most likely will wrap up sometime around early afternoon. Of course, News 5 will be following it for the course of the day, so stick with KOAA.com and the News 5 app. Watching out for you, Pueblo, Shayla Gerard in News 5. Thank you, Shayla. And of course, you'll remember during the 117 fire, the chemical depot was put on pre-evacuation notice at one point. So we asked the depot about the protocol during an emergency like that. So during any emergency response, similar to the fires that we've had recently around the depot, we would maintain the safety and security of the stockpile at all times. Um, we practice and train for these type of contingencies. The chemical stockpile or much mustard agent is stored in some secure igloos that are designed to withstand natural events like a fire. The igloos include fusible links that melt under extreme heat, causing the vents to close and preventing any flame or sparks from entering those igloos.